How's it going, my fellow metalheads? Um, very uh, sad video because this is the final part of my vinyl collection series. Um, if you've watched every one of my vinyl collection videos up until this point, thank you very much. I I really appreciate it. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. I mean, I've said this before, but I, I cannot stress that enough, how much it means to me. Um, I got four really good records to show you guys, the last four records that I have not shown in any video so far. Um, but yeah, uh, without further ado, we will get started. So, in part 11, we left off with Twisted Sister, and we are going to continue with more Twisted Sister. This is You Can't Stop Rock and Roll, their second album. I'll turn it like that so you guys can kind of see those pictures there. Like I said, Twisted Sister are fucking great. Um, they're not the typical fucking glam metal band. At least their early shit's not. Their first few records. Um, sleeves kind of beat up, but got this used for a few bucks at a CD warehouse record store I've mentioned many times, you know, <laughs> so far. But I cannot stress that enough. If you live in the St. Louis area and you've never been to CD Warehouse and you love going to record stores, check that fucking place out. Just, you know, just Google it. Um, you know, just Google it. You know, CD Warehouse, um, St. Louis, Missouri, or um, South County should pop up. Alrighty, so I will show the inner sleeve. There's that. Pictures of the band members with uh, track list, no, nah, credits. Track listing and lyrics are on the back here. <laughs> yeah, this is their first album they released um, when they got signed to Atlantic Records. So yeah, very, very, very good album. Not as good as Under the Blade in my opinion, but it's still a good record nonetheless. Um, like I said, just, you know, I'm not going to say it again, just just please check it out if you haven't yet, if you haven't. I, I'm not sure the variety of metalheads and, you know, that are watching my videos. You know, you may be a metalhead that's in more to more extreme metal. You may be a metalhead that's into more of the classical metal, you know, like this. But either, either, either way, if you've never heard it, check it out, you know. Um, let's see. You got um, the title track, You Can't Stop Rock and Roll, which I believe was their first music video. The Kids Are Back is the opening track, which is one of the best songs on the album. That, that's a really good song. Um, I Am, I Me, that's a good one. Like a Knife in the Back. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's got, it's got a really kind of sappy ballad on it called You're Not Alone, which was kind of like Dee Snyder's uh, tribute song to his, you know, wife at the time, or, you know, yeah, yeah, he's still with her, why did I say wife at the time, yeah, his wife, but yeah, um, but other than that song, which I'm not big, a big fan of that song, it's a fucking good, good, good album, you know, can't really say shit about ballads, because even thrash bands had ballads on their albums, that's why I never got that shit, everybody's like, oh, the glam bands and their ballads, it's like, dude, the thrash bands did ballads too. I mean, there was a few that didn't do, but you know, the ballads. But most thrash bands did do ballads, or at least it did at least one song that could be considered a ballad. You know, I mean, fuck, Testament had a song literally called "The Ballad." You know. Oh boy. But anyways. Was the sister? You can't stop rock and roll. Their second album. If you haven't heard it? Check it out. Alrighty, more Twisted Sister, and their most successful record. This is Stay Hungry. Cover's actually in pretty good shape. Got this set of Slackers for no price on here, but I know it wasn't for that much. Probably like eight bucks or so. Yeah, very, very good album. Um, it's got their two most popular songs on it, obviously. 
which I mean, and those aren't the two best, again, those aren't the two best songs on the album. There's so much other better shit on this album than, you know, those two songs. You know, we're not going to take it and I want to rock. But anyways, um, credits, pictures of the band members on that side of the sleeve, and track listing and lyrics on the back. But, I mean, yeah, this is it's a really good, really, really good album. Um, I get really angry when people say that Twisted Sister are nothing but a one-hit wonder band. Those people have n obviously never heard their other shit. They did, they made some really, they had some really fucking good, um, heavy metal. Um, now, Stay Hungry is a little bit more on the mainstream side, like, it's not as heavy as the first two records, in my opinion, but it's still heavy metal. You know, them doing what they do best. Um, now, some examples of that are the title track, Stay Hungry. Burn in Hell is probably the best song on the album. Uh, Horatoria, the beginning, the Captain Howdy p track from on that is really fucking good. That's one of my favorites on the album. Um, SMF is good, which stands for Sick Motherfucker, in case you didn't know. Um, the price is the price is a ballad, but it's a very good ballad. Um, I think it was about like I think Twit D wrote it about um, like his life on the road, like like how he wanted to be like a rock star so badly, but like he's you know, on the road, so, you know, he's, like, away from his family. I think that's what the song was about. I don't know. You can correct me if I'm wrong there, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was about. But anyways, Twisted a sister. Stay hungry. Like I said, everybody's heard the two popular tracks. Um, we're not going to take it, and I want to rock, but listen to the other tracks that I recommended if you haven't heard it, you know, like Burn in Hell, um, Horatoria, um, don't let me down, SMF, those that that shit. That shit's really good. Anyways, yeah. Check it out. Alright, one more twisted one more twisted sister album. Now, um, I saved this one for the last one because although this is their debut album, this was the pressing that came out in 1985. So that's why I showed this one last. But yeah. This is the Atlantic Records version of Under the Blade, so this is the re-release. Again, CD Warehouse, 10 bucks. <laughs> That's how much I paid for the Secret Records version, though, so. But yeah, um, now the only thing that was, I believe that was different about this one was um, that I that I recall now in the secret records version I forgot to mention I think it's in the, the song shoot him down um, they say fucking which I think is bleeped out in the secret records version it is not on this version if I recall correctly now this version also has the um, tr a track that wasn't on the secret records version of under the blade a song called I'll never grow up now which is a very good song. But yeah, like I said, not much I can say about it because I, I already talked about it. I already talked about this album in um, part 11. So like I said, I'm not going to say too much about it. Because if you guys have seen that, seen part 11, you already know. But there you go. Looks very much like the, the other one. Um, credits and stuff there. Lyrics and track listing on the back. Now, the album cover is a little different compared to the Secret Records version, obviously, you can tell. I prefer the Secret Records version much better, though. Alrighty, but yeah, like I said, um, if you've seen Part 11, you already know the tracks I've recommended, so I'm not going to say much more. But anyways, if you haven't listened to this album yet, please do check it out.
it in the sleeve there. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I swear to god, this is a fucking vinyl collector's like worst fucking nightmare. They can't get their fucking record in their plastic sleeve. There we go. Alrighty. Very sad that this is the last record. <laughs> But this is honestly, this is a very good record to end with, though. So, without further ado, this is Van Halen, the self titled debut album. Yeah. One of my all time favorite hard rock albums. This is, is fucking great. Like I, I mentioned in my CD collection video, if you gotta have a Van Halen album, it's gotta be this one. This album is fucking amazing it was so highly influential um you know it's nothing topped it at the, at the time when it came out it especially had a huge influence on the fucking um on the glam metal scene uh shit it's hard to recommend a song from this album songs from this album because just the whole album is just so fucking good but anyways there's that side. Um, no lyrics. Just credits and um, band member pictures. And on the back, the classic Van Halen logo. So I'm pretty sure there's no lyric insert. No, there's not. Sadly. Um, but yeah, I mean, sh not much I can say because, like I said, I mean, if you have Everybody's heard this record. I mean, if you haven't... How can you call yourself a rock and metal fan if you've never heard Van Halen? If you've never at least heard Van Halen's, you know, debut, you know, especially their cover of You Really Got Me is fucking, you know, um, just iconic. And then, of course, the, the, the Eddie Van Halen's, you know, little thing, um, eruption. I mean, it's, there's just so many hits on this album. It's, I mean, I honestly think I've heard every single one of these songs played on, like, you know, traditional rock radio, except for maybe a couple of them. But, I mean, shit, other than, like, You Really Got Me, and Eruption, you got Running With The Devil, which is another classic, Ain't Talking About Love, which is probably my favorite, just favorite Van Halen song of all time. Um, Feel Your Love Tonight's another kind of popular one atomic punk uh ice cream man which we all know what that's really about just you know just just think about it on fire jamie's crying is another it's just, i've named just about every song on the album it's it's such a fucking great album and if you have not heard this you're watching this and you have not heard this album then that's just really fucking sad because this is just it's such this is such an iconic record you know anybody who calls themselves a hard rock or a heavy metal fan you got to have heard this album there's just no way like I said not much more I can say Van Halen self-titled debut album for some retarded reason you have not heard this album then you just need to you just drop what you're doing and go listen to it but yeah alright guys sadly that is it um like I said before, if you've watched um, every video in this vinyl collection series, then fucking thank you. I really, I really do appreciate it. It does mean a lot. Um, what you'll see coming in the hopefully near future is vinyl update videos, which is not original by any means, but what else can you really call it, you know? If I were to call it Vinyl Collection Part 13, it would lose a lot of its point because it wasn't already there, but yeah. Anyways, not going to ramble too much, but yeah, thanks guys, I appreciate it. Um, like, comment, um, feedback, um, your opinions on the stuff I showed, you know, what, do you, what are your feelings on the records I showed, I, I guess I should say. And, um, yeah, subscribe if you want to see the updates. And, um, I mean, I've uploaded more stuff than just, you know, collection videos. You know, just 
check out if you haven't checked out the rest of my collection videos check those out a lot a lot of cool shit in those videos that I'm sure most of you would enjoy but anyways thanks again guys and stay tuned for more